Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little bit weird right now because I have like a full kind of base on and just brows and that's it. But that is because today I thought I would do my first ever boxy char- oh, I oops, the box should be closed, hee <laughs> hee. My first ever boxy charm unboxing. I've actually been a member of boxy charm now since like end of 2018 and I would post like my box on my Instagram which if you don't follow me Ashley B Wong I post um all things makeup related beauty related lifestyle related over there but I would always post like my box when I got it in the mail just kind of like you could see the contents of it um because it is a monthly subscription and I have to say the boxes are hit and miss um but you pay I think $25 for four or five full-size beauty products um and I think the value overall is great because it's always over $100 and a lot of the things um, are great and I use them and some of the things are a little bit redundant or things that I wouldn't use personally that I would give away or you know just um, say for a rainy day. Yeah so I'm excited to share with you the July box. I personally love watching BoxyCharm unboxings because there is some variety with every box. So personally as a consumer of BoxyCharm I like to you know watch YouTubers who also get their boxes and see if we have the same boxes and see what it is if I don't know what the contents are or see the review of it. So yeah. Um, if you're interested to see everything in my July boxy charm, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. I obviously peeked inside because I wanted to try it on as much as possible. I um, mean, I will say this box isn't a huge try on box, but I will show you the contents of it. So that's why I have my primer, foundation, concealer, and powder on, and brows. Um, but we open it right here and we have a little card. The theme of this month is sunshine. It is July and it's very hot. So the first thing that I will not be trying on today because it is a skincare item is the 111 Skin NACY2 Pollution Defense Booster. This guy right here claims it's a daytime booster to fortify your skin against the harmful aggressors of the digital age. Um, it shields your skin against physical and blue light pollution through a powerful combination of peptides, antioxidants. So um, blue light protection is all the rage these days, you know, from your screens, if you're staring at laptops, cell phones, whatever it may be. Um, and this actually retails for $135. So this is crazy expensive um i am not trying this on right now obviously because i have makeup but i have used this once and it's a very interesting serum looks like this and the drop they say you can mix one to two drops with your moisturizer or just apply it as a serum before your moisturizer which is what i do i just go in with this and then go in with my spf and you'll notice the drops at least like in my opinion they're not that large so um i personally did like two to three drops and obviously since i've only used it once i can't really tell a difference on my skin but it has not irritated my skin so that is always a good sign um and looking at the ingredients in here glycerin is one of the main ingredients which glycerin is a great humectant and really just attracts moisture to your skin so that's always a good sign i can't really see anything that would be um of too much concern no denatured alcohol um i don't think there's essential oils in here so I think this is a pretty sound formula and it should be because it was developed by uh i think plastic surgeons so yeah this is great um is it worth 135 dollars like do i say go out and spend 135 dollars no absolutely not even if i feel like i love this i think there are so many good affordable brands like the inky list or the ordinary that have similar formulas and you can get similar serums without paying such a high price tag okay let's move on to something that i actually can try on this is the ace beauty bronze in paradise bronzing palette this retails for thirty dollars um and it's got four bronzer shades can be layered on top of liquid cream or other powder complexion products Ooh, got that nice little like package conducive to traveling with a little mirror um and i will do swatches for you right now this is what it looks like here so you have um a range from fair to deep so obviously all four shades are not going to work on my skin tone like all four shades are not going to work on every one skin tone but you can use these for a different reason so i will swatch them for you right now ace beauty makes some of the most pigmented shadows i've ever used and these feel really creamy really really nice i'm just gonna have to see how i can incorporate these i'm thinking i'm gonna use some for a shadow as well so i am actually going to mix these two shades right here kind of like the um second and third ones just to bronze up the face now none of these are contours so um don't mistake it for that so let's just see there isn't a lot of kick up in the pan I'm just going to kind of go between the two, top off the excess, and let's see. Ooh, okay, that is pigmented. I should have known because their shadows are pigmented. Let me just try to buff that out. Buff that out. I think I dipped my brush in too many times, but that's okay. You can always clean it up. Yeah, be careful with this product. A little goes a long way, 
but I do think it's blending out pretty smoothly. I do have self tanner on right now. I feel like for every video now I have on self tanner because I just love to like tan in the summertime and sitting outside to get that natural tan right now is far too hot. It's like 110 degrees right now and I am not trying to faint again in the heat, if you know what I mean. So I really like this. I think it's definitely, it looks kind of muddy on camera, but in person I don't really see that. You just have to make sure you're using a light hand and you're blending it out. Um, I actually think this shade might be a little bit too deep for me and more of this one. Is it worth $35? I don't really know because you can't use all four to bronze your face. Like there's just no way. Like, so for that reason, as a bronzer palette, no, I don't think it is, but we can try using a little bit on our eyes. Okay, I, that looks crazy. I am going to <laughs> bake a little bit. I think I went in too heavy handed. So learn from my mistakes, people. I am just going to bake with the Beauty Bakery flour powder. I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. All right, so while I'm letting that just kind of like sit on my skin, I am going to apply my blush. I did not get a blush in the BoxyCharm. So I am just going to go in with a random one. I haven't used this one in a while. Let's do the Down Boy blush by The Balm. It's kind of like a purpley pink. I think it would complement my shirt. Okay, there is a highlight in here, which is the next thing that we're gonna try on our face. Um, it is a cream cushion highlight, which I have powder on, so we'll see how it works. But this is the Cream Shop Ready Set Glow Cushion Highlighter, um, and it retails for $20. It says it's a luscious, hydrating formula that gives the skin a beautiful and ethereal glow. This is in the shade Pink Glow right here. Um, and I don't really have any cushion products in my collection, let alone a cushion highlight, but I have heard good things about the Cream Shop. I don't know if it's a K-Beauty brand. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. You got a little thing right here, which... I guess, how would I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if I would use this to be honest, but again, it's a cream product, so. Okay, so you just have to undo this. Ooh, okay. So let's just put my finger in here. Oh my God, it does have like an iridescent pink. <gasps> wow, do you see that? Is the light reflecting it right? Wow, that is a true like pink duochrome and it does feel like oily which obviously it's a cream product so what do i expect i hope it won't break up my makeup underneath i'm trying to think of the best way let me just use my fingertips it's gonna dunk a little bit in here oh no that's too messy what am i doing today's just not my day guys i'm going through something um personally i should say and uh like literally happened right before i started filming this video so i apologize if i'm a little bit off and that does not look good because i am using my finger probably but i mean i am also wearing powder underneath and it looks like a stripe but i will say the color itself is very pretty and unique if you can get this to blend onto your skin maybe try without powder i think see this side already looks better i think it could look decently nice i'm not even gonna bother highlighting my brow bone because this just looks so patchy it definitely does not look the best on top of powder i don't know if you can see with the light but it definitely broke up a little bit right here so i'm just going to try to blend out my blush a little bit and it feels a little bit like heavy on the skin i don't know if you got this in your box tell me what you think yeah i could tell it already is removing some foundation underneath so that is not the move i don't like this you're gonna get some hits and misses, but that's okay. Um, this is 20 bucks. I think it's a cool, unique product, but don't put it on top of powder for sure. And it's making my foundation look blotchy, but uh, we're just gonna keep on trucking because that's what we do sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna actually move on to the eyes. I'm going to work a little bit of these shadows in my crease. And then for the rest of the look, we also have this. This is the um, Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Eyeshadow. It gives you shimmer and shine. It's lightweight. It says you can apply a sheer layer for a soft and radiant daytime appearance or um, a few layers for a dramatic evening, <laughs> evening glow. So I'm just going to take a little bit here and then I'm just going to tap this directly on my eye. Ooh, that's nice. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. It'll be interesting to see how this dries down, how it works with other shadows but it is very liquidy and very creamy. And I do like that nice, like subtle wash it gives my eyes, wow. Okay, so that's like one sheer layer, can you guys see? Let's try building it up just for the sake of 
this video. I'm just gonna do a little bit more here. Right away, I do like how the formula is. It's definitely very easy to blend out, very liquidy. Obviously, I'm, I'm not getting fallout right now, which is great. And I imagine if you didn't want to pat it out with your fingertips, you could just let that sit there and then have it not be just like a glittery sheen, but I do like that so far. That's great. Let's see how it blends out with other shadow. Oh my God, my highlight on this side is giving me anxiety. Like, I'm so sorry. That must be so ugly to look at. But that highlight just did me dirty, unless I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that bronzer shade I put on um, in the crease a little bit, cause you can always use bronzers as eyeshadows. I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I just put it in my transition. Okay, this is great. I'm not getting any fallout but it's definitely still staying in place, which is awesome. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna go in with this pretty, like deep chocolatey reddish brown shade, and I'm going to accentuate the outer corners with that. Ooh, yes. And then I'm actually gonna go back in with that cream shop shadow just to see how it turns out. Okay, so going back in with this, let's just see how it layers on top of that right on the lid. And then patting that in with my finger. So this is my third layer now. And I am noticing a little bit that when you blend or when you apply it over certain areas that you had already applied it on, it will kind of remove the glitter underneath. But with that being said, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I think if you don't want like an awkward bare lid, maybe put this on top of color. I'm gonna put a little bit of this shade just like kind of on my lid just to see how that goes. So it doesn't look so blank. Overall, I like it. I think this is a pretty decent look. And it's it for the um, try onable items in the box. So I'm going to finish out my makeup and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I am back um, with a full glam look, apparently. I have like my falsies on, which I don't know why they look kind of like wonky. Put on some falsies and this lip, I'm currently wearing Too Faced Gingerbread Man, just because I felt like, you know, throwing on some nice bold makeup today. But anyway, we have reached the end of all the products that we can try on. The last thing is this Quick Color Swatch Dry Makeup Brush cleaner and this says you can quickly remove powder pigments from makeup brushes without water basically it's like a dry brush swatch it retails for twenty dollars i actually have one of these i have this one right here from sephora this is so old but it's essentially the same thing you have like a nice kind of sponge in here um let's just test this out this is actually something we can test out not necessarily try on let's just take a brush that has a lot of product on it which you can see this one i use for smoking out my lower lash line just going to rub this in here. This is not going to disinfect your brushes. You should still deep clean them with soap and water, but this is great for eyeshadow work. If you are blending out different colors and you wanna use the same brush, you can just quickly rub it in here and look, it actually gets rid of a lot of the color. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is stained. Um, we're gonna do, let's do this one. This is my Moda Pro one. This has some brown in it. It's not going to obviously like get rid of everything like soap and water would or a brush cleaner, but it will get rid of enough so that it doesn't disrupt the next color that you're going in with. And you can see right here, it's obviously a lot less. So this is great. Is it worth $20? I'm not sure because I believe I got this from Sephora for like eight to $10. So yeah, but it's definitely a great product to have in your kit. All right, everybody. And that is it for my unboxing. I am going to tally up the total. I already know it's gonna be way more than 100 because that serum alone was 135. So the total for this month is $230. Now, admittedly, I do not think this is the best box I've ever received by a long shot, but the value of it is so great. This is a nice product. This is a great bronzer palette um, because you can use it for like eyeshadow and whatnot. The serum, I will definitely continue to use. And this cream shop highlighter is definitely my least favorite thing. I just could not get it to work on my skin, even though I did go in with powder first. So if you do get it, try going in without powder and maybe that will work. But yeah, everything else I thought was great. And of course you do get way more than what you pay for the box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. Let me know what you got in your July Boxy Charm as well. Um, and this never says the weight, which I know people ask me that, but I can't see what the weight is, but 
yeah anyway um yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like me to do future boxycharm unboxings on my channel and i definitely will but yeah i uh, love you guys so much and this is just a message i guess to myself and to you that no matter what you are going through know that it is meant for a reason um and you'll emerge from the situation stronger better wiser and you do not get through it, anything in life that you can't handle so yeah love you guys thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye